Hi friends, welcome back to Imagination Station. It's called the Gingerbread Math Contest, and it takes place on a snowy December day. Okay. Imagine snowflakes falling outside as you listen to this story. The story is about four friends. Four friends? Mira. Okay. Kenny Wallace. Okay. And Dodgia. Sounds like fun. They're in their classroom with their teacher. Okay. Yeah. Miss Peabody. Miss Peabody. And they're all excited because they're going to have a gingerbread house building contest. Awesome. But this isn't just any contest. Hmm. What makes it so special? To get the supplies mm -hmm. to build their gingerbread houses, the kids have to solve mad problems. Ooh. Yeah. So what was the first problem they had to solve? Imagine a gingerbread man with eight yummy buttons on his tummy. Okay. And his friend has five. Okay. Mr. Peabody asked the kids to add up all the buttons. All the buttons. Kenny was super quick and shout out a 13. He got it right. Yeah, he did. What did they win for solving the first problem? They won frosting. Frosting. You need frosting to stick all the pieces of the gingerbread house together. Oh, yeah. Mrs. Peabody gave him another math problem. Another problem already. This time, it was about how tall their gingerbread house would be. Okay. She told them one wall was six inches tall. Six inches. And they needed to stack two more walls on top. Two more walls. So how many is that all together? Mira knew that if they stacked three walls on top of each other, they needed to multiply six inches by three. Okay. She quickly calculated that the walls would be 18 inches tall. Wow. Mira is good at multiplication. <laughs> she is. They won graham cracker walls. Graham cracker walls. Now their gingerbread house was really starting to take shape. It is. In the story, frosting was flying everywhere, graham crackers were snapping, and the kids were lassing as they tried to put it all together. I bet they were having fun even with all that mess. They were. Yeah. But just when they thought they had it all figured out, uh -oh. Miss Peabody gave them another math problem. Miss Peabody told them they needed four candy canes for each side of the roof and asked how many candy canes they needed in total for both sides. At first, Wallace wasn't sure how to solve it. I bet the other kids helped him out. You're so right. Teamwork. Dajia knew that if they needed four candy canes for one side and four for the other, they just needed to double the number. Right. She shouted out eight. Eight. And Miss Peabody gave them their candy cane. Yay for Dodger. Now their gingerbread house had walls frosting and candy canes for the roof. What do you think they needed next? I bet they need something for the base of the house, like a platform. Yeah. But Miss Peabody had something even more special in mind. She wanted the kids to figure out how big the base of their house was going to be. She told them the house was 10 inches wide and 15 inches long. 10 inches wide, 15 inches long. Yeah. Ooh, I know what that means. She wanted them to calculate the area. That's right. And it was Kenny who came to the rescue again. Kenny again? He knew that to find the area, you have to multiply the width and the length. So he multiplied 10 inches by 15 inches. 10 times 15. And got 150 square inches. Wow, 150 square inches. Kenny is a math superstar. He is. So did Miss Peabody give them a base for their house after he solved the problem? Not exactly. A golden star candy to put on top of their house. So the kids quickly put the finishing touches on their gingerbread house. Yeah, okay. They carefully spread the frosting, stuck the graham cracker walls together, and propped up the roof with candy canes. Sounds delicious. <laughs> Building a gingerbread house is all about trying your best and having fun, even if things don't go perfectly. That's a good lesson to remember. It is. Mir and Kia... Kenny Wallace and Dajia solved all the math problems correctly. They did. So their gingerbread house was standing tall and strong. It was? They even had a beautiful golden star on top. That's awesome. It was time for Miss Teabody to announce the winner. Okay. All the kids gathered around. Okay. And Miss Peabody looked at each gingerbread house carefully. I bet she announced that Mira Kenny Wallace and Dajia won the contest. You're right. She told them that their gingerbread house was the tallest and strongest because they used math to build it correctly. They did a great job using their math. They did. That they were proud of themselves. They were so happy and excited, they jumped up and down and gave each other high fives. Yay. And you know what Daja said? What did she say? She said, math made it even sweeter. <gasps> and Kenny, who had frosting all over his fingers, added, literally. Uh, I love that they learned that math can be fun. So next time you see a gingerbread house... Remember the story of Mira Kenny Wallace and Dajia and how they use math to make their gingerbread house extra special. And maybe, just maybe, you can use a little math to make your next gingerbread house even more amazing. Thanks for joining us on this deep dive. See you next time for another exciting adventure. 
Like, subscribe and share for more.